Okay guys, here's the first battle. I just wanted to show you guys really quickly here uh, what I mean when I say the battle I cannot save the replay. You can see here are the, uh, pretty much most of the battles that I played. Uh, these are the ones, uh, This, uh, if, you, if you remember there was a 3v3 in the past that I wanted to show you. See, I can't do this one, it's just, there's nothing here and uh, it just fails to uh, do the replay. And the same for the one that I played today which was the 16th one, you can see that I can't click them. So it's not like I'm trying to hide, you know. The fact that I lose, I do lose in this game. I'm not some sort of amazingly awesome player, but um, yeah, definitely, um, uh, it just doesn't work. And I, incidentally, all the ones that I win seem to 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 actually work. So I don't know. I don't know what it is. So anyway, I just wanted to. I, I just thought I'd like to share that with you guys before we, uh, um, you know, do anything. And here comes the first battle. You can say that I'm playing with uh, Canopus. And uh, today we're on the forest gully map, or I don't know how you, what that word is and how you say it. Um, so finally, a change from the foothills. We've been doing foothills over the past four, five, five, five videos, I think, or four videos. Even the battle fought by Red, who was my teammate, was also on the foothills, incidentally. But anyway, here's a, a little change for you guys. Um, so um, yeah, let's um, wait for this baby to start up. And uh, another comment also, I'm, uh, I'm really loving all the the comments that I've been getting from you guys. And uh, some of you actually wanted the game to be a little bit brighter. And here it is. Um, I've turned the brightness up and I hope uh, you can see it better. Anyway, uh, you can see here that there are three buildings to be captured. And I am sending uh, my uh, cavalry up to take it. Uh, but uh, in the meantime, let's take a look at my opponent's army, at least the visible parts of it. At the front, he has uh, four units of bow samurai. He's got a Lone Sword Ashigaru uh, at the back here, another one here, and uh, one more here, so that's three Lone Sword Ashigaru, and then three Katana Samurai, and two more Yari Samurai, and his General. Uh, as for my forces, uh, I've got uh, two units of a Bow Cavalry, and uh, these guys are quite good, quite fast units, and uh, they are good annoyers. And then I have uh, two Light Cavalry units here that I have dismounted to start capturing this uh, workshop. And you can see that I'm going to send my uh, missile cavalry on the ridge here to protect and uh, to uh, prevent my opponent from taking the sword dojo. Back to my actual main force. Uh, at the front of my guys, I have um, uh, some Nodachi samurai. I've got four of them. And then I have um, a one unit of Boa Shigaru and three... Uh, no, actually, that's two units of Boa Shigaru vet veterans. And these are the... Um, the uh, no, actually, these aren't Boashigaru veterans. I uh, do apologize. This is my front line. It's composed of two Nodachi samurai and two Kaji no Seikon elite uh, katana samurai veteran units. Here they are. And then uh, over here at the back, I have um, three units of what is it? Four. It is. Wow, I can't count. <laughs> three units of Boashigaru behind them. Uh, two units of Bo samurai. And then back here. Uh, an Odachi Samurai unit, and here's the general, uh, Matsuta no Kage, and there's a bug with the uh, avatar, like you can't, even though I changed the way he looks, uh, it doesn't change the way that he looks on the battle. Uh, anyway, um, what happens here is that um, I uh, launch one of my light cavalry units at my opponent. The reason I'm doing this is pretty much a slowdown. Uh, this light cavalry unit is a throwable. You can see here that I almost run them into a Yari Samurai, and actually do run them into a Yari Samurai. They lose a good number of units, but the reason I'm doing this is that I know that this way I'm going to give time for the rest of my troops to slowly get up on this ridge. They are running. Uh, it is going to tire them uh, some good bit, um, um, but uh, I'm going to be able to get the better uh, ground. You can see now that I'm also going to send another unit of my bow cavalry. Uh, to to uh, kind of slow my opponent down a little bit more and you can see now that there's a lot of disorientation amongst his lines not very uniform which is what I want especially on a hilly map kind of like this I really want to be getting the uh, ground advantage and you can see here that I'm just uh, going to ditch the bows they're still shooting and I'm going to ride right into these bow samurai right next to that Yari samurai and I'm going to just keep running through and try to get these guys out of there in time they will take some casualties but I did take that bow samurai unit down almost to half and um, uh, I'm going to actually bring the other bow cavalry unit at the bottom here and here uh, uh, comes an, uh, uh, the hidden uh, component of my opponent's army to Yori Cavalry and uh, you can see here that uh, these are my bow cavalry they did get hit a lot uh, but I'm going to nonetheless use them to the best and I'm going to use them and another bow, bow cavalry unit to charge this Lone Sword Ashigaru 
So you can see uh, th during this time, my opponent also decides to do some uh, action uh, to uh, scare away my Yari Cav. He's going to actually try to chase away uh, my Light Cav, sorry, but he's going to be running away. Uh, but at this point, I have what I wanted. I have the ground advantage, and uh, you can see that I'm also, I've also uh, hit uh, that Lone Sword Ashigar unit down to 70 men, so that's more than half men gone, and now he's trying to bring his general in uh, to kind of fend me away, but that is not going to work. So you can see that my cavalry here, especially in this battle, um, they weren't the formidable Yari charge cab, but they were. I definitely used their speed. Well, I tried to use their speed as best as I could uh, to disorient my opponent and uh, allow myself to uh, position myself better with the remaining uh, force. You can see that I've captured two of the buildings now. Uh, the workshop, which gives the armor, and the shrine, which gives the morale boost. I have captured both of them, and I'm going to need that thing that my opponent is probably going to uh, position better uh, on this hill. And <laughs> you can see here that he is going to actually send his general's bodyguard to chase my bow cavalry unit, and uh, I forget uh, to take them out of um, of uh, skirmish mode. So I do command them to run here, and I would have beaten him, but this is skirmish mode going in, and they're going to actually uh, run towards the edge of the map. Uh, but I'm actually going to still be able to get away with it. Uh, so you can see at this main time that I'm still kind of repositioning my troops, uh, and I totally have the hill advantage now. Uh, but it looks like my opponent is actually going to uh, fix that and uh, going back up and taking this hill. So the only thing that I did really achieve there was uh, the fact that I was able to take some of his units out, but also at the cost of my cavalry. But anyway, you can see that my guys took about 16 casualties there, and I'm still trying to run away from this general. I will be able to outspeed him. Uh, and you can see he, he, he can't catch me and I'm going to run out and look at this I'm taking shots at these Lone Sword Ashigar that uh, are pretty much almost decimated and seeing that this unit is gonna get caught anyway I'm going to initiate the main attack here since so seeing that his general away and hoping that uh, he's actually gonna stick down and chase these guys around I'm going to uh, slow his general down keep him away from the main battle and you can see here that I'm using my light cavalry to kinda uh, fend off his uh, his um, Yari cavalry and also going to charge right into them, slow them down, and look at that, they're actually going to rout, and uh, that's because they're surrounded by my units and my general, their general is so far away from the battle, and you can see here that uh, that bow cavalry unit is still running around, uh, dragging his general all across the battlefield, and uh, pretty much now I'm running uphill because I need to take advantage, uh, I need to... Um, uh, capitalize on what I've done. Here's my general. He's kind of far behind and uh, that's gonna change soon because I'm going to run him up the hill as well to support my infantry. So you can see that the fight is raging on here. Uh, my Nodachi Samurai are hitting these Lone Sword Ashigaru and then the, these Katana Samurai and you can see that I uh, activated the Banzai on this unit here because they were getting shot heavily and I needed them to stay in the battle but now uh, their Banzai is gonna run out and uh, so is the Banzai of this unit and I needed them to get on the hill and now that they aren't on the hill they're going to chase those both Samurai away give uh, the rest of my units some nice little cover and you can see that I'm running my Bo Ashigaru close to the battle here and here is another charge uh, the Katana Samurai units versus my veteran uh, Kaji no Seikon uh, unit and uh, you can see that my Kaji no Seikon are uh, since they're fighting at a hill disadvantage Pretty much going to give uh, I even grounds, but here comes a bow cavalry unit. I'm going to hit these guys from the back, and I'm also having success in the middle. Uh, in the left here, my Nodachi Samurai, well, they actually routed uh, the Lone Sword Ashigaru, even though they were under fire, so I'm uh, happy about that. And here's the other Nodachi unit, and I'm going to charge these Yari Samurai, who are protecting his bow samurai. Uh, you can see that his cavalry actually charged down into my bow Ashigaru, and I actually changed them into a melee mode. And the reason I did this was, uh, again, to slow uh, my opponent's cavalry down, seeing that my cavalry is pretty much out of the game uh, in any uh, forceful way, at least. Uh, so you can see that a bonsai uh, was starting to wear out, uh, actually wear out. And here I inspired uh, uh, these veteran units, and uh, that is actually going to help me uh, take it away here. So you can see that that Nodachi Samurai unit that made it up the hill, thanks to its bonsai skill, definitely helped me... Uh, uh, capitalize here at the bottom and you can see here that uh, the battle could go either way now but I do have the two buildings it doesn't have anything and um, I am starting to lose units right left and center uh, but I'm also going to be rallying my troops here uh, 71 men left in that katana samurai unit and 57 left in that one and uh, he is going to actually get his general out of there because the general was starting to lose the battle that's going to have a morale effect on his men is bringing some more Yari Samurai in, but you can see here that I'm moving my Boa Shigaru to get some back shots at these guys. 
and things are going crazy. Uh, so you can see here at the back that that bow samurai unit uh, was hurt from my nodachis who are uh, I think not existent anymore. Uh, they did a great job though. They helped me uh, secure uh, the center and you can see that another charge is about to happen here and I'm actually gonna counter charge him with my Bohashigaru and uh, that is his general and uh, at this point in the battle uh, I think my numbers are going to help and you can see uh, a lot of volleys coming in uh, hitting my men but he's also, he's also hitting his men uh, with this unit of Bohashigaru who's pretty much intact and uh, I'm also going to take two of them uphill on the right here and uh, I'm going to reposition them and take some more pot shots at the back of these guys and that is going to rout uh, the last remaining parts. Look at these Katana Samurai, they're going to try to charge my uh, my bow uh, Samurai but they're going to actually fail at it uh, because well they're being chased down by a veteran unit and there's another bow Samurai unit close by. So. A lot of action happening in this battle, and so you can see that I have sent uh, my uh, general here. No, that's not my general. Uh, my Boashigaru unit, he's fending off his general, and his general actually <laughs> is uh, shattered. Uh, so that Boashigaru unit held off his general, which is kind of funny. Uh, as for my general, where did my general go? I could have lost him, actually. Uh, did I lose him? No, I could have very well lost him. Even though they, these guys uh, have been um, inspired, yeah, I think I did lose my general in the process. Didn't notice it. Uh, he probably routed with the uh, with the rest of my army. But at this point, uh, all my opponent has is one more unit of bow samurai and this unit of uh, another unit of bow samurai. And you can see that I'm uh, just uh, chasing him down with bow ashigaru, and uh, both of his units are uh, wavering. So that is going to be the battle. Great game to my opponent, Canopus. A lot of action there. A lot of positioning. You can see that most of the battle actually took place on his hill. So I'm, I'm actually surprised and glad that I managed to pull that one off. That was definitely a close battle. Uh, I hope it was interesting for you guys. And be sure to follow the annotations to see uh, the other videos. Uh, remember to comment, uh, rate, uh, well, just thumbs up. And uh, subscribe if you like. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.